What job do you have that makes it impossible to date? 877-995-4681 if you want to call us. You can also text it to 99338. If you text, though, and you get a call back, probably us. So just so um, you know with that. Uh, tomorrow at this time, Eric and I are reading our uh, it's our IJ, Eric Loveoff. We're going to write our love novels tonight. Read tomorrow. Ew. Very excited for that. But we kind of got on this because um, we had a voicemail ask why I, I don't date or haven't been dating. And, like, the short answer is, like, it's very difficult in – not difficult. That's a strong word. But I don't – I go really hard in everything, I it's guess. It's just so. tricky. In radio, there's always going to be somebody that has to sacrifice. Right. And, unfortunately, it's usually the person not behind the mic. Like, that's a conversation I had with Marshall. I was like, I love you, but you're going to have to understand, in certain circumstances, you have to be Mr. Couture. Mm. A lot of people like would be like, ugh, about that. And he's like, I get it. He's like, I understand how mm-hmm. hard you go, and it's fine. Like well, another one that was hard to date, Hooters Girl. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. That, oh, the, that was um, like the jealousy yeah. that ensued. Yeah. Well, and for, and for this for this job, too, I, I, I've, I've had people like, don't believe me, but it's like, my, we're a new show trying to take this thing to the moon. So I know, yeah. like, in the back of my mind, it's very unlikely with probably in the next, like, two, two years, realistically speaking, that I feel like, okay. We're good to go. Unless, you know, I go on The Bachelor in Baltimore, it happens, and then I fall in love. But that might be we'll for see. another day. You never know. Um, Weirder things have happened. Absolutely. Let's go to uh, Lacey in Fairfax. Good morning, Lacey. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. So you do what that makes a hard date? I'm a vet tech. Oh, no. Oh. Why would that be hard, though? Oh. The vet techs are awesome. Yeah, it's great, and I love my job, and I'm trying to go to vet school. So I, I really love my job, but it is really hard to date and i think everyone who works in the veterinary profession can relate to this there's times where you are at the clinic all night or you have to work the third shift or you're on call and so you'll be in dinner and then they'll be like hey 30 minutes until this er and you're like okay i've got to go can you pick up the check i'll see you later can you tell them to put my food in the box yeah, I, mean, I so guess like Lacey's. It, I mean, cut you up. I guess it'd be the same thing as like it's dating rough. a nurse or a doctor who's on call. It's like, yeah, yeah, you're just doing it for animals, so you're basically at their yeah. service. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, it's Lacey, I wish you nothing wow. but the best, though. And thank you for being a vet tech too, and taking care of our furry friends. We appreciate you. Yep. Yeah, you have a good one. Have you a great too. day. To uh, Baltimore we go. Melissa, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. I didn't even think about this. So you work in what field? Uh, car sales. Okay, and it's difficult to date because of why? Well, I mean, you work every single Saturday unless yeah. you take time off, mm. and your schedule is typically nine to nine, twice or three times a week. Uh, at the end of the month, my company works the last three days of the month, nine to nine. So you you don't get to plan things with your friends or with a date because you just don't have it. You just don't have it available. And I would imagine I too, uh, mm. car sales probably commission based, Melissa. Right. Um, not where I work, okay. but you know, that's not the issue. It's at the time they require you to be there. Um, they require yeah. warm bodies there and you just, you miss out on so much stuff. Oh, I, I imagine. Melissa, thank you for calling. Have a great day. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Ellicott city. Brian, good morning, sir. Good morning. So you do, what, you do what for a living, dude? So I am uh, the marketing director for an awesome real estate group in Ellicott city, Maryland. Okay. Bob and Rana group. Oh, hell yeah. Holler, right our, our, our favorite uh, real estate group in Elkett City. <laughs> it's difficult to date because why? Um, you know, I'm 30. I'm pretty young in the industry, and real estate agents tend to be older. So uh, even when you go to events or, you know, meet different things, uh, conventions, you know, people are much older than me. And sure. it's not not the easiest. Uh, but aside from that, I really feel like it's, it's a lot of what your issue is, which you're just so busy and you're, we have a lot going on with our group and um, we're really trying to, to take things to, to new levels this year, especially. Sure. And uh, I think my job, I don't think it's fair for me well, almost uh, to be in a relationship. Cause I get so much backlash with everyone I've been in, in the past. Brian, when you watch That's like, smart, though. when you watch selling sunset, does it uh, infuriate you? Because Selling yes. Sunset, okay, because I was going to say, <laughs> that show is wild, dude. Thank you so much for calling, Brian. Have a great Not day. Real. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you uh, have a good day. <laughs> you too, man. Oh, Anna, I could see this 110%. Uh, good morning, Anna. Hey, John. How's it going? Fantastic. Thank you. So you uh, work in what industry? I um, have just gotten out of the events industry thanks to COVID. Sure. Oh, um, man. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 
But, yeah, concert, production, um, weddings, you name it. Yeah, um, I imagine. But, yeah, I mean, you're working 60 hours a week, six days a week, nine months out of the year because, you know, everybody gets married almost year-round now. So. Right. Well, and that's um, the thing, too, like with event planning, like I've, you know, I booked the comedy tour myself and the routing stuff, so I know, and I'm sure you agree, Anna, when you're the event planner, you need to know everything that's supposed to happen and then everything that could go wrong and then how to fix the things that could go wrong. And that's a yeah. lot. Absolutely. Having contingencies for your contingencies and just yeah. being prepared. The oh. prepared person you'll ever meet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Anna, thank you for calling. Yeah. Have a great day. You guys, too. Bye. Bye, girl. He, he continues over text 99338. Somebody said a pet sitter and a horse walker. Bruh, I oh. will, I will Whoa, sit and walk a horse walker. with you all day long.